Hi Potterheads, and welcome to another episode of Pottercast. This is episode 37, and tonight we're going to talk about why the first book is not called The Philosopher's Stone in the US. Now, of course, in 1997, J.K. Rowling published a book called Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone here in England. It became a phenomenon. Uh, in 1998, the American publishing rights was, uh, were bought, were purchased by Scholastic Books, who then decided to publish it as Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Why? That brings us to the question, why is book one not called The Philosopher's Stone in the USA? Do people in the US not know what a philosopher is? Uh, unfortunately, uh, apparently not. So if they give out PhDs in their universities, they're not giving them for philosophy, they're giving them for sorcery. And according to them, the Sorcerer's Stone can transfer any base metal into pure gold. And has an elixir that grants everlasting life to whoever drinks it. So, they think Nicholas Flamel created a sorcerer's stone. Mm, no. You have philosophers in your universities, Americans, so you must therefore know what a philosopher is. So, what was the point of renaming the first book? Did you not think children would know what a Philosopher's Stone is? It makes no sense to call it the Sorcerer's Stone. So don't call it what it isn't, call it what it is. The Philosopher's Stone. So tell me, is there a PHS in your colleges and universities? <laughs> I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. Is it... Sorry, sorry. Not a PHS, but I'm sorry. Do you have doctors of sorcery in your universities or something? So you have SODs, not PhDs, but SODs. <sighs> Dumbasses. If you know what a philosopher is, Americans, then don't rename the first book. Keep it under its original title. But there's no point of renaming it. You get nothing extra by renaming it. Kids will know what a philosopher is. They're not that stupid. 
and also if they have heard about the legend of the Philosopher's Stone, they'll know it by name, its actual name. Because in real life there was a man named Nicholas Flamel, he was an alchemist. And legend says that he did create a Philosopher's Stone. But it was hidden, and he died at the age of 80. So there's your history lesson. So, you think that's a sorcerer's stone? No. It wasn't. So now, unless you stop the charade or facade of naming the first book what it isn't and having it masquerade as a completely different novel, which it isn't, republish it in your country under the name Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, because that's what it is. Don't call it what it isn't. Okay guys, that's the end of this little rant for now, and join me tomorrow as the topic shifts on to something else. Until then, Mischief Managed.